I want to selfishly ask, like, without considering like health risks, like if we were to just keep doubling our testosterone, will we just keep adding more muscle? Right. Well, you know, anyone that is in the age where they want to have kids should be really, really careful about being on testosterone. Okay. Because boosting testosterone. So there's, so the hypothalamus in the brain makes gonadotropin releasing hormone, right? And then it, it goes to the pituitary and the pituitary makes two hormones, LH and FSH. So LH goes to the testicle and tells the testicle to make testosterone and FSH goes to the testicle and tells the testicle to make sperm. And the bulk of the testicle, 90% of it is sperm production and only 10% is testosterone production. But if you're taking exogenous testosterone, testosterone from the outside, what that does is it tells the pituitary and the hypothalamus, we got enough, right? So there's a, a negative feedback loop. And so what that does is the pituitary shuts down the production of LH and FSH. And so then it shuts down the production of sperm, mm. right? And then the testicle shrinks. I had a patient who I did a vasectomy on who was an all pro defensive end for the, the Raiders for like 10, 15 years. The guy was like a 350 pounds, just a mountain of a man. And his testicles were the size of peas. You right? serious? Yeah. <laughs> Cause he'd been on high dose testosterone for a long time, Ooh. right? How do you get to be 350 pounds of muscle? Right. You know, I guess it's, it's possible with natural bodybuilding, but you know, for most NFL players, I'm sure, um, they do it through, through, um, steroid hormones. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, and then you do like the buildup and then the cutting and then all that kind of stuff that you guys know a lot better than I do. Cause it's sort of part of that bodybuilding culture. Uh, and so, you know, your, your levels are all over the place and stuff in the body works best when it's kind of a routine, right? Everything in your body is like circadian rhythms. You're just, mm -hmm. that's why you check testosterone first thing in the morning because your testosterone levels high at eight o'clock in the morning. And then three, four o'clock when you get sleepy and you need some coffee or whatever, or I need some coffee, your testosterone's lower. And then you go to sleep and by the time you wake up in the morning, it's back high. So everything in your body has a natural cycle. And when you're doing all these crazy wacky things with your testosterone, uh, it affects your bodily systems. And one of the systems that affects is fertility. Your testicles are going to shrink. Now you can go on Clomid, but let's be honest, that's not like natural. It's not the, not the way things are supposed to be. And so that's, I think, a reason that a lot of people have infertility issues is they're playing around with stuff that they shouldn't be playing around with. Pat Roger family, how's it going? We talk about sleep all the time on this podcast. That's why we partnered with Eight Sleep Mattresses. Now, this mattress is the Tesla of sleep. It's the Tesla of beds. Its technology tracks your heart rate, your heart rate variability. It changes its own temperature based off the way you sleep so that you get better sleep every single night. It is quite literally insane. Check them out. Andrew, how do they get it? Yes, and before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that you can actually set the bed to wake you up silently. I know that sounds weird, but actually the bed starts vibrating around your head and it doesn't wake up the entire house hold the way my phone used to do back in the day. So now I just kind of have the bed wake me up silently and it's amazing. You guys got to head over to 8sleep.com slash power project. That's E-I-G-H-T sleep.com slash power project. When you guys go there, you'll see a banner across the top saying that you're going to receive $150 off automatically. So again, that's 8sleep.com slash power project to receive $150 off your pod pro cover or your pod pro cover and mattress combo. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to the podcast. On the fertility note, because we actually just had somebody that came and talked to us about some, he talked about fertility and testosterone recently. Um, how can people be careful? Because there are a lot of younger individuals, guys in their 20s that are hopping on TRT because it's like the popular thing to do to gain muscle. Um, how should people be careful to make sure that they don't end up becoming infertile in their, in their future? Yeah, if so, they choose to go down that yeah, route. Yeah, I mean, if you, if uh, my, obviously, my first recommendation is, you know, you got enough testosterone. You got a th testosterone of a thousand. You know, that's sort of like the upper limit of what God gave you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, enjoy it. 
Um, but if you if you really feel the need to go on TRT and you're in your 20s or 30s, um, make sure that you take Clomid or um, HCG. But you know HCG is injectable; it's expensive. Clomid is cheap; it's oral. Um, 25 milligrams is is usually all I need. Uh, you know, I have patients who are younger, you know, that have low testosterone in my office, you know, because I see, you know, I see the, the 0.1% of guys that have issues, mm. right? I mean, I have a patient who's 17 years old that has erectile dysfunction, you know, and it's totally legit. You know, it's not like his parents are freaking him out or whatever, a girl freaked him out. I mean, you know, like I totally talked to him man to man, close the door and, you know, it's legit. Uh, so if you're really young and you have a, in your hypogonadal and you're symptomatic, I can put you on 50 milligrams of Clomid and it'll push your testosterone up to 900 or 1,000 as long as you don't have testicular failure. If your testicles are fine and you're just not getting the signal from your brain, mm-hmm. then there's a lot of stuff we can do. Psh, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.